today we are remembering is the truth. According to John 14, verse 6, John 14, verse 6, Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth. And the Bible tells us in John chapter 8, verse 32, John 8, 32, that you shall know the truth and the truth shall make you free. Which is why in the same John chapter 8, verse 36, John 8, 36, the Bible says, Whosoever the Son shall set free shall be free indeed. So because Jesus Christ is born, everyone held captive can enjoy freedom. So if there's anyone here or anyone listening to us on the radio or on television or on the internet, and you are held captive by forces too strong for you to be free from, I have good news for you. In the name that's above every other name, you shall be free tonight. I remember some years ago, we went to a town in Ocean State to conduct a crusade. And there was a man there who was highly educated, the principal of a school. And he was well over 50 years old, but he had no wife. And he had no wife because each time he tried to open his wife to propose, certain forces of darkness would choke him up. And so he can never say to a woman, will you please marry me? I mean, as a principal of a school, there were several beautiful ladies teaching in his school. And from time to time, we will see one of them that he liked, and he will say, uh, please see me in the office. And that one will be rejoicing, thinking that the principal is about to propose at last. But uh, when the lady arrives in the office and says, sir, you asked me to see me, he will say, oh, yes, um, I want to ask you about the exercise book. <laughs> but then one day we went there and the